idea of being able to do a design in major and small class settings. I think overall, the campus, faculty, staff, students are very friendly. The only encounters that I've had that have been negative have only come about because people just don't know. And they're, they're either just really ignorant of the situation and they've met, never met someone who's, who's a transsexual and, and therefore they respond negatively or based off of what they assume a transsexual person is. But for the most part, on, on, on an individual level, and I've said this before, on an individual level, Sweetbriar is very, very welcoming to, to diversity. Okay. Hmm. I think, for the most part, if you take an active role in the community, then the community is exactly what they, the marketing people try to make it come out to be. Yes. Thank you, Bill, for welcoming for environment. I have always felt welcome and supported. I have, whew, um, let's see, I've been sweet spirit while here. I've also worked with campus events organization, um, in which I did things like the foreign film lecture series. Which is good. I like that. Uh, thank you. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I've also done, I'm a member of TNT and a, a techie lineage because I do not dance. I watch people dance and I turn the music on. And that's, that's about as close to dancing as I get. Um, and then of course painting patches, which is such a huge part of my life. We do everything. <laughs> um, we we provide a different perspective to, to our community. And so, and that's what we do with theater, is that we take something that maybe someone doesn't know about, and we, we give them a situation where they can learn something about that, or take some, or look at something they thought they knew and take something new away from it. And so. Found the Harry Potter Club. <laughs> I'm now in yearbook. Um, I'm in yearbook, Harry Potter Club, uh, Medieval Renaissance Club. I'm also an RA, and I work in Phonathon, and full class club. That's pretty much everything. Clubs. Um, Medieval Renaissance Club, we travel to uh, jousting fairs, medieval renaissance fairs, um, with a couple other classes, art history and medieval renaissance class. We took a trip to New York last year and got to see um, the cloisters. cloisters in New York City and that was amazing. And you just get to nerd out on Lord of the Rings with everyone. Harry Potter, we get to do Harry Potter movie marathons, make Harry Potter food, just have fun pumpkin decorating contests, wand decorating contests, costume contests, uh, yearbook, get to learn more about the school because you get to go back through all the old yearbooks, old faculty and staff, pictures, everything, and pretty much it. Uh, I participate in the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, the Sweetbriar Engineering Society, the Society of Women Engineers, the Society of Automotive Engineers, <laughs> 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 nothing else. Okay. I am the day transfer and training point student representative on the student government board. Um, I'm involved in international club and I go to GLOW meetings on occasion. And that is about it. A history of party. Well, um, God, that's a rough one. I realize that's, that's really kind of close yeah. to home. I am, yeah. <laughs> I'm president of Paints and Patches, as you know. Yes. And I think that often it has to do with the nature of the tap club. Um, which tap club is it? You know, what 
what sorts of things are they trying to foster? And, you know, speaking from the perspective of paints and patches, um, paint and patches, paint is not plural, and I know this. <laughs> um, paint and patches. That's why I always put P and P, because I'm never quite sure, because yeah. everyone always goes, makes them both plural, and you're like, hmm. I'm from Arkansas, you make everything plural. <laughs> you no, know, paint and, the perspective of paint and patches is that it's kind of, it's kind of like where all are welcome. And, you know, we don't believe in a blacklist or anything like that. So everyone has the opportunity. And it just comes down to whether or not you're going to spend your time in the theater. And, and it's, it's kind of hard when I hear these things where people say that, you know, tap clubs are not that they single people out, but they, they push people out. And I don't know if I agree with that entirely. I mean, probably to a certain degree. Um, you okay. have to be willing to go out there and do these activities. That way people will know you're there and know that you may or may not be interested. But I don't think they go out of their way to intentionally, tap clubs that is, do not go out of their way intentionally to make people feel left out. And so, and it's, it's a shame that that happens a lot. But, you know, I think that's the nature of clubs is that someone's going to feel upset, someone's going to be offended, um, someone's going to think something didn't happen the right way, and and that's just something we have to deal with, you know? It's, it's difficult, but all I can hope is that the tap clubs that are on campus can can serve as examples of leadership and, and show that we are not that stereotype. We are not sororities, we are not fraternities. You know, we don't haze. Um, we do not condone hazing, and and this is not about this is not about a popular a popularity contest. It's about you know going to do what you love and being recognized for that, and that's what the hats are. Oh, that definitely is an iffy one. Um, <laughs> I think that. I think that it's taught me how how to work within a community, um, and I think that's one of the best lessons I've learned here that will prepare me for the out, the outside world, outside of the bubble. <laughs> um, is that in the the things that'll come up in a community, the crises that come up in a community, and you know how gossip travels and how communication is key to prevent misunderstandings. And so I don't think it's necessarily like Sweetbriar goes out of its way to say you know this is what you need to know when you go out into the real world they don't do that you know they're very discreet about it and it's just from our day-to-day -day interactions with other students faculty staff which you know teaches you about life and teaches you about um, about it, it kind of gives you a glimpse of what real life is going to be like and before I came to Sweetbriar I worked I worked full time. Um, I took a year off, and I worked in patient and guest services at a hospital. And I also worked as an EMT, and and that was a lot of real life. And I felt like if I had been to Sweetbriar before I had gone to do that job, I would have been more prepared to handle a lot of those communication issues that I had with my colleagues and. Um, and just the snarky comments that come out in the real world, you know. The real world is very much like, kind of like how people behave in college, on a social level, you know. There's still the jerks and, and the really nice people and the well-meaning people who come off like jerks and, and we're all these different kinds of people. And in learning how to deal with each other in college, it's gonna help us learn to deal with those jerks outside of the college as well. <laughs> And so, yay, prepared. <laughs> That's what I learned too here. I was <laughs> diplomatic. And I'll tell you the first person who taught me that, Laura Reinert, English professor here, I wrote a paper essentially calling, was it, I can't remember if it was Tolkien or C.S. Lewis. I called one of them a hypocrite. And I just bashed the hell out of them both because I just, I don't even remember what I argued. But I was offended by something and annoyed by something and thought, their thought, their thoughts were unintelligible and ridiculous, 
And I remember getting this paper back and it said, I see where you're coming. I might advise you to be a little more diplomatic in your writing. <laughs> and she could have said, you know, don't be a moron. These people are clearly smarter than you. Um, no, she was like, try to be more diplomatic. And, and I learned ever since that day, I have fought to be more diplomatic. <laughs> and sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> I don't want to leave the prior. <laughs> um, I feel very nervous to go out into you know the workforce, go out there and actually show myself. But because of being around Sweet Briar, having taken the classes I've taken, been around the influential teachers um, and the awesome career services department, I feel really comforted that I have a support system here that has gotten me on the right leg, right track.